Hello, this is part of the controlled environment plant production engineering slash technology education modules that were developed and presented by the Ohio State University, Rutgers University, and the University of Arizona with support from the USDA NEFA program. We're going to talk about the importance of a mission statement. All right, so it helps you set your goals and your standards. It looks at the future and asks, what kind of business do I really want? Um, it can be a source of inspiration. We all know that any agricultural field is extremely difficult and challenging. You want to be on your toes at all times. And if you uh, want to do something easily, the best way to, to do that is to get inspired to do it, right? So if you have this mission statement in your head, sometimes it can inspire you to get through some of those tough times. And it helps you provide clear decision-making criteria. As business managers, you all know that um, you are uh, charged with making split-second management decisions on a daily basis. And having this mission statement in your mind can help you guide some of those decisions. So questions you want to ask yourself when you're developing a clear company vision is what values do I hold that I will not compromise? Maybe uh, you're organic. What characteristics do I want to portray to people? So that's kind of looking at from the customer standpoint. What do you want your customer to think about you? What principles do I stand for? How do I want to be seen or thought of when I interact with people? And what do I want in life? Why are you farming? Why are you managing a greenhouse? Um, what, what, is, what, is the, what do you want to get out of that? So the mission, it focuses on the firm's present. It lists broad goals. It answers the question, why does the firm exist? Uh, what its purpose is? What does the farm do? Why does it do it? For whom does it do it? And it often identifies the company's products, services, and customers. So what you see here is this mission statement is going to answer a ton of questions in a succinct sentence or couple of sentences. And that's the hard part about making one of these. And that's why the worksheet we're going to do is going to be really good for you. So it, it focuses less on what activities happen on the farm and more on what the business will accomplish for its customers, its employees, and its owners. It describes what the customers need uh, the, um, and what will be fulfilled. It also talks about how the firm's products and services will do this better than the competition. And we call that your customer value proposition. So it's your customer value proposition is really trying to differentiate, differentiate yourself from other businesses that are like yours. Um, it's a business or marketing statement that describes why, why a customer should buy a product or use a service. So it's customer focused, right? That's what we're trying to do is we're trying to focus on the customer perspective. Now, um, many of you may remember the times in agriculture where you just kind of grew a product and found a market later. Well, if you're growing anything in New Jersey or in today's market, it's highly unlikely you're going to be successful doing that. What we know now is that you have to um, have a market before you grow your, your product. Because first you have to identify the market need. You have to make sure there's somebody out there that's going to buy it. Then you have to grow products to satisfy that need. You have to um, balance it with a price customers are willing to pay, to pay that will still return a profit to the business, uh, which Robin's going to talk about pricing later on in the course. So your mission statement, it should be um, basically what Robin said as the elevator speech. It should be short enough that uh, people can easily remember it. It should answer the question, why am I here? How will I get where I want to go? How can we beat or avoid competition? So it's a short, concise statement that describes the core purpose. Uh, it's the big picture. Um, I know the vision statement is the big picture. We're not really going to talk too much about a vision statement. Um, they're slightly different. But what we need for the business plan is the mission statement. Um, so that's the implementation of the vision. It outlines what must happen to realize the vision. It's like, how will we get there? This kind of thing I'm talking about with strategy guide that contains action words and adjectives. And it can unify the people involved in the business around a common direction and purpose. A good practice is to post this mission statement. And um, you can, you know, if you want to, you can require your employees to memorize it um, to help inspire them to be unified on 
their philosophy on how they treat people, how they treat customers, what's important to you, what should be important to them as um, part of your business. And sometimes it's a foundation or measuring stick for making decisions. So um, it highlights the unique philosophy and set of circumstances of the farm, like a production method, um, or livestock or vegetable farming, um, a target market, you wanna kinda try to hit on that target market, who you're trying to sell to. Um, and these unique circumstances often craft the who, what, why, and how that ultimately help de develop a farm business plan. So your, your business plan is really a, uh, an elaboration on the who, what, when, where, why, how of, um, of your business and where you wanna go but the mission statement kind of condenses that all into one succinct uh, set of words. So for example, um, we have Uncle Steve's, Steve's farm is located in beautiful Hunterdon County. This is not the mission statement, this is just the description of the area. The farming operation consists of beef cattle raised for sale to various customers in New Jersey. Steve is dedicated to the ethical treatment of his animals and is a strong believer in organic production. So that's the situation that we're going to um, see the mission statement for now. Uncle Steve's farm is dedicated to, dedicated is an important word, right? It shows commitment um, to raising animals in an environmentally sustainable fashion with the strictest attention to animal health and comfort. Those are some of his principles, some of his priorities is the animal health and comfort. These practices ensure a superior quality organically raised beef product for our customers and a picturesque, healthy environment for our neighbors. So uh, it's obvious that some of his customers are his neighbors, right? Because they want to feel like they have uh, some type of role in what goes on in their community. We'd like to acknowledge the funding that was received for this effort by the USDA NEFA program.